Now I'm gonna stay malls. After talking with a couple of my friends, a couple of my lads, chose to go ahead and do a couple of my videos in an English accent, and I hope you can carry, you can uh, follow along, and it's not too out of the norm for you. If so, don't know what to tell you, but enjoy. But what I wanted to talk about today was mental clutter. Mental clutter being in the form of Everything that's on your mind, it doesn't have to be on your mind. You see, when we want to go out and manifest things, because your thoughts do become things, if you have mental clutter, it makes it very hard for one to manifest the things that you actually want or that you desire. So, you want to begin to cleanse your mind of the things that are hindering you from manifesting the life that you want. And how do you go about manifest? How do how do you go about cleaning up the mental clutter? Well, one thing that you could do is write, write out, you know, things that are on your mind. One thing that I've been doing as of late is the things called morning pages. In morning pages, I write uh, three pages each morning, draining my draining my brain of the thoughts and clutter from the day before, um, and just writing my thoughts out. You know, slowing my mind down. My mind moves at, you know, a million miles per second. So if I have the opportunity to slow it down and dump all of the things that I don't need, it makes for a better day. Um, you can also uh, stop watching as much TV as you're watching. You can remove yourself from your social media sometimes. Um, because a lot of times in our social media feeds, we are digesting into our consciousness, into our minds, other people's lives. Um, and a lot of us aren't cleaning up our Facebook, our Twitter, or our Instagram timelines to be more of a reflection of who we are and what we want in life. It's a lot of negative things that you might find on your Facebook uh, time feed uh, and things of that nature. So you can remove that. Um, also... A good thing for one to do is uh, be mindful of the music that you are listening to because the music impress, impresses upon one's mind and upon one's mental. So it would probably be in your best interest, even if you haven't, to listen to more instrumental music, music without lyrics and words on them. Uh, me, personally, sometimes I get into a mode where I listen to absolutely nothing but classical music, and in that classical music, there's a, there is a voice, but it's a more pure voice, more soothing, calm voice, and it it dissolves a lot of the mental clutter that one may have. And the reason why I speak about mental clutter is because we want to manifest things. We want to generate things into our lives. And look at your mind as a radio receiver and transmitter. If you have a mind that is full of clutter, it is very staticky, and you cannot receive a good message coming in nor going out but once you clean 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 your mind of the uh, of the mental clutter it makes it more of a um, stronger signal stronger signal for you to transmit and receive so the thoughts that you put out reach far beyond what they have could what they could if your mind was cluttered with things that aren't serving of you if your mind is clear, you have a clear channel. You are a clear channel for the things that you want to manifest into your life. So why not? Why not go on a mental detox? We detox our bodies. Why not detox our minds? Because our mind is what makes the things around us things. Your thoughts become things. It is mind over matter. Truthfully speaking, your thoughts are not things. I mean, truthfully, your thoughts are things, not become things. They are things. They have their own vibration and their own entity and their own life. And mind is not over matter. It governs over matter, yes. But mind is matter. So once you come into an understanding of that, you'll be more wise about cleaning your mental clutter of everything that is on it at this moment. I leave you all with peace, love, and godliness. I pray that you be good, do good, and, leave, and you live good. Namaste.